Okay, let's see if this works. We're going to, uh, <laughs> I'm going to try to do this outside with the dog since he has no interest in coming, <laughs> coming inside. He's absolutely moping. So the problem is, is that I got to change my settings so that I can actually see my camera. And of course, where settings when I need them, right? Display. Uh, the brightness is 100% JAWS. So, and now I'm gone. Well, that didn't work, did it? That didn't work. Let's see. All right, let's try this. Uh, I can't see. I can't see anything. And probably neither can you, right? Yeah, you guys can see and hear me. But. I won't be able to see the chat. Somebody say something so I know if when you guys make a comment, if I can see you or not. I'm trying to do this outside with the dog. We got a situation here. We'll put it that way. <laughs> we, got, we got a stubborn St. Bernard situation here this morning. I did manage to get him to the river. And, uh, well, here he is. <laughs> So I've been meaning to experiment to see if I could do this live. And uh, it's not looking its not looking like this is working out. I can't see myself. And I don't see anybody chatting, which means something's definitely working. Something's definitely not working. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Hey, all right, let's see. That's weird. It didn't say chat. It gave me. All right. So can you guys, uh, I cannot see myself. Can you see and hear me okay? <laughs> Happy Easter. Hi, Jackson. Hi, Raven. You guys let me know if you can see me and hear me okay. Otherwise, I'll I'll move it back inside and Fluffy will just have to be stubborn. Uh, uh, to, to see the chat, I can't see myself. All right. Thank you, Jackson. Yeah, I, I can't see myself, so I'm just going to look at the phone. <laughs> I, can't, I can't see myself. So, all right, thank you, Raven. Thank you, Jameson. Okay, all right, so we'll we'll try this for a little bit. This one's going to be a little bit shorter. It's not going to be the total, total hour, hour that we would normally do. Uh, that's okay. Though. We got two more coming up. We've got Monday. We got Tuesday. At least we finally won a damn game. Jeez, that we need to win a damn game. Um, I, I I I forget how I titled this video, but the way that the refs, the way that the refs were last night, I actually don't have a problem with, um, because it pissed off Aaron Ekblad, <laughs> and good things happen when Ekblad's pissed off. Colin says the key takeaway from yesterday is how we need to be better about holding on to a lead. Yeah, I mean, um, <laughs> actually, Jackson, that's the one penalty that was actually a penalty. Um, you kind of got to call that the one on Barkoff, but it was it was the one that where Larkin tied it. It was it was um, the one against. Uh, Montour with the <laughs> the one against Montour, um, the the tripping, the hip check tripping. I've never seen that. Right, the four on three in the. Oh, I see what you're saying. Was it a four on? Is that was it a four on three in the third? Is that that's right? Because it was four on four, and then they called Montour. That's right. Because it was four on three in overtime too. So I, that's where I got confused. Yeah. Hey, Colby. <laughs> Yeah, no, I I I figured that out. Oh, I got a gnat flying around me. I got I got Kyle. Uh, hi, Kyle. Say hi, Kyle. <laughs> Here, I don't know if I'm getting them. Wave hi. I can't. I can't. No, it's actually. I got to turn it around, dumbass. <laughs> I don't know if you can see Kyle. I'm sure you can't hear him. <laughs> I can't see myself. This is so stupid. But it's working. So, is there a way that I could see myself and the chat at the same time? 
I don't think so. There's the chat. I don't want to close that out. Let me see. If I X that out, see, if I X that out, I can see myself, but I can't see the chat. It doesn't give me an option. But I see how I'm, I'm in the camera, so I don't need to see myself. So that's okay. Um, is there a different layout? Let me see if there's a different layout. No, that's all good. So we'll just come back to the come back to the comments and there we go. When did we get our first 80 degree day? Colby, we actually had one um of the week before Ellie got sick. Uh we had mid to upper 70s and it was one day where it actually got 80. Now of course that's highly highly unusual. What we're having today is about normal. It's going to be a high of about 60. It's overcast. Um that's about normal for this time of year. Unfortunately, now I we don't know for sure if Nick is going to be able to be here on Tuesday. The plan is for him to be here, but um, uh, the weather right now is not looking good at all. So we don't want him driving three or four hours in, in thunderstorms. As the spring thunderstorms out here, they get they get pretty nasty. So we'll have to see. Chicken says, absolutely nothing changed in the standings for us last night. Red Wings and Caps both got one point. Us and the Bruins <laughs> got two. Yeah, the, Cap well, the Capitals are in third place, though, now. Right? They 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 passed Philadelphia. Um, you know, while, while we were slumping, the one thing that went by the wayside for sure is I don't think we're going to get first in the conference because we're now five points behind the Rangers. So what that means is, oh, excuse you, Fluffy. Um, the odds of us playing the the bottom wild card team are not very good right now. Um, I haven't looked at the playoff predictor, but I think that um, right now the most likely, by far and away, the most likely uh, opponents that we will have in the first round is either going to be Toronto or Tampa. Because if we do win the division, or it's almost almost a guarantee that we would be the two seed and not the one seed. So we would be playing seven. Um, there's a slight chance we could play the Capitals or um, Philadelphia. But I think most likely right now we're looking at either Philadelphia, uh, we're looking at either uh, Toronto or the Lightning. I'm actually going to do a video about that maybe tomorrow. Or in the next couple of days, um, I I think we're I I have a feeling we're going to end up round one against the Lightning. I have a feeling that we're going to have to disperse dispose of the Lightning and Vasilevsky in the first round, and that is that is not going to be easy. That is not going to be easy at all. And David, um, yeah, he's going to be streaming the game, <laughs> the Canadians game, if if Nick is able to. To, to come over, um, he'll be streaming that game with us on Tuesday night. So that should be fun. Colby, yeah, that, that was a concern, right? Vasilevsky heating up was definitely a concern. Um, and, you know, look, Tampa Tampa still has their guys, right? It's Stamkos, Kucherov, Point. I know Sergachev is out, but Hedman, you know, they still have and of course Vasilevsky. They still have their core group of guys and they know how to win. And you know, um I I don't want to be quoted as saying I want Toronto, but if if you give me the choice between Toronto and Tampa, it, there's no choice at all. I'll take I'll take Toronto um to to let let Boston play Tampa. Let Boston play Tampa because that, that's two teams that are going to be extraordinarily pissed off that they lost in the first round last year and uh, let them beat the crap out of each other. And that's the other thing. Um, a series against the Leafs would be far less physical than a series against Tampa. So um, Mike says Flyers dropped to eight. Do we still want number one? 
I don't think it's going to matter, Mike. We're five points behind the Rangers, and I think they have a game in hand too, right? Um, who mentioned that? Jackson did. Yeah, no, Toronto has the game in hand. I can't look at it on my phone now. We're five points behind the Rangers, so we're not going to catch them. So I, I don't, I don't, I think that ship has sailed for number one. Um, when you look at it, I think barring any anything crazy. I think you're looking at Canes and Rangers in the second round. And I don't know who comes out of the Atlantic in the second round because, you know, if if Boston plays Toronto, who knows? If we play Tampa, who knows? Um, that's the thing, Mike. Most likely, well, if we finish, if we win first place in the division, we're going to get the number one wild card. We get the seven seed which right now is almost a lot to be either Tampa or Toronto. Um, so that's that's what we're looking at. Hey, MJ, thank you, brother. Thank you, MJ. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, much appreciated. They see. Happy Easter. I was going to say the same thing. Happy Easter, MJ. Uh, he says, sorry I missed last night's, last night's game. Great win for the Cats. UConn and Bama going to the Final Four. Purdue and Duke playing today. Athletics might be staying in Oakland. Rest in peace. Lewis Gossett Jr. Damn it, MJ. Every time you come to the stream, somebody dies. <laughs> Damn it. That sucks. It's all, you know, I remember when all of my parents, you know, when, when my parents were my age and all of their musician and movie people that they grew up watching when they were dying. And now I'm now I'm at the age where all the people I grew up listening to and watching now they die. Everybody's dying. Huh? What the hell's going on? Fluffy, Fluffy's not. Uh, Fluffy's sound asleep. We went to the river, and luckily he, uh, he um, I know that this will be hard to believe. Nobody's going to believe this, but he learned from he learned his lesson. He learned his lesson. He realized that after about a half hour to 40 minutes, um, he's going to get tired and sore. So he let me walk him to the van, walk around a little bit, and then he, I, I pick him up. I have to lift him up to get him into the van. But he did not keep me there two hours today, so that's good. Um, yeah, Mike, Monday's game is going to be good. I'm glad, you know, twice um, the Leafs. Two times in their last eight games or whatever, um, the Leafs have a back-to-back -back with Florida and then Tampa. They do it. They do it this time with us, and then the Leafs finish the season the 16th against Florida and then the 17th against Tampa. So they 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 do it twice back to back, and both times uh, Tampa is the second team that they play. I believe that's the case. Um, so those games are going to have a significant impact in who on who we play and and all of that. I would, you know, no disrespect to to Toronto. Like I said, I am definitely not sitting here saying I want Toronto. Um, but no, no joke. I would I would rather have I would rather play Toronto than than Vasilevsky. And to be honest with you, I think if Tampa ends up playing Boston, I think Tampa will win that series. And I have a feeling the second round matchup, if we get past the Leafs, would be Florida versus Tampa, which just start that game, start that series in, in, in game seven. You know what I mean? Uh, let's see. John says, if you talk about tinkering with lines, what about Tarasenko, Lundell, Lusterinen, and Erod? Nothing against E2 and Lundell. Offensively, this line could use some improvement. Um, I don't know if Coach is going to do it the way I would like to see it. <laughs> I'm not saying he should do it my way, but uh, you know, I would I would rather have at this point. I think we are better with Cousins with Bennett and Kachuk. So I would I would go Barkoff. Reinhardt, Verhage, Cousins, Bennett, Kachuk, Tarasenko with Lundell, 
and Lusterinen and Stenlin with Lomberg. And if you want to put Erod on the fourth line, fine. If you want to scratch him for Gadjevich, I'm okay with that too. Uh, Jesse wants to know, what do I think about Gadjevich with Kachuk and Bennett? Um, I don't, I mean, I wouldn't, I don't think Gadjevich has shown that he can do that yet. Um, we may see that as a possible option next year, depending on what happens, depending on if they re-sign Cousins or not. I, I, I would like to see Lomberg and Gadjevich get on the ice. I think we're a better team with those two guys on, on the ice. and. Like I've been saying, for whatever reason, it just seems like Bennett and Kachuk lift their level of play when Cousins is with them, you know? Chicken, you say Gadjevich is day-to-day with lower body? Okay. I thought that was Lomberg, but either way, either way. Hey, hey, True, how you doing, buddy? Uh, True says, spread the power throughout the four lines. Hey, look, <laughs> um... Once the playoffs come, I think we 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 know every game is going to be two to one, three to two, right? And we just have to play our game, get our timely goals. And the reality of it is is it's it's all going to be up to Bubba, Bubba, and and if Stolarz plays too as well, you know, um, everything that happened last year, it still came down to game five. Bob stopping that Marshawn breakaway. Remember, I mean, it's there's five seconds left. It's it's three games to one. If Marshawn shoots and scores, it's all over. None of that happens. And then game seven in overtime, I think it was off of a pasta shot that had it should have gone in, but it went off the knob of Bob's stick. So you're gonna have to have that kind of luck too. You know, you know what I mean? It, it all has to come together. And, you know, so that that's why I'd rather play Toronto because <laughs> if there's anybody that's capable of shutting us down, it's it's Tampa and, and Vasilevsky specifically. Right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, she says we lost every game, nearly every game with Lomberg and Gajovic. Gajovic were out. Nick says next year Gadjevich will be ready to move up lines. Yep, I think that's that's part of the reason why we extended him, right? Um, you know, Cousins not getting any younger, and he's you know he makes about three hundred thousand dollars more, and it don't sound like a lot, but with this team, it is. And I remember last year there were times we had to play a man short because we you know we we couldn't go over the cap by two hundred thousand, right? Uh, Rinketic says, can Florida afford to do a Canes and have a bit more of a mix? Let's say Rodriguez, Lundell, Kachuk, Brahegi, Barkov, Tarasenko. Um, no, no. Yeah, that that wouldn't work because, look, Bennett and Kachuk, Bennett and Kachuk go together like Hall and Oates, okay? That, that, that is written in, in stone. You cannot, you cannot break up those two. Um, Barkoff has a little bit more leeway there, and um, Lundell and Luce Ryan, in my opinion, <laughs> kind of belong together. Um, True says no, we didn't. We didn't sign Vladdy. True, he's only he's only he's only with us for the rest of this year, and then if he wants to stay, and we can afford to keep him, then he he's welcome to stay, right? Let's see. Jameson says, I'm probably the only one that wants Tampa. This group needs to slay the dragon um, at some point. John says, at some point in our lives, we will have to beat Tampa to try to achieve our playoff goals. I want Tampa first round. I agree, but I disagree. I'm going to tell you why. I tell you why. Because I would rather play Toronto and then Tampa than Tampa and then Boston. Because if Boston and Toronto play, Boston's going to win that series. So I would rather play Toronto in that first round because it's going to be a lot less physical. And I don't, and obviously they don't have Andre Vasilevsky. So if we're going to have to play Tampa, let's play Tampa after Boston has softened them up a little bit. 
but they gotten through, right? <laughs> hey, it is what it is, right? Je uh, Jess Jesse's got it, yeah. Toronto versus Florida, Boston versus Tampa, then Florida versus Tampa, then Florida versus the Rangers is the path to the cup. Um, can we have the Flyers instead of the Rangers, Jesse? Can can we have that was my hope. I mentioned that like two months ago. My hope was that Philadelphia would 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 upset the teams in the Metro and then we'd get them in the Eastern Conference Finals. <laughs> JJ need who what who JJ need to be put in time out? What happened? Your cat dope exit text. I'm not sure what he was trying to say. <laughs> um David says, I said before I say it again, it's amazing how quick most teams went from Tampa's not real competition this year to I don't want Tampa and the first since the trade deadline. Well, yeah, they, 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 um, what we're doing now, what the Panthers have been doing now, we kind of did the opposite. Tampa kind of did the opposite. Well, Tampa kind of slept walked through the first half of the year, but also they had Vasilevsky was out too, right? I think that, you know, as Vasilevsky has come back and started to look more like himself, the rest of the team has gotten a lot more confident and they're getting, they're, they're getting, you know, they're getting their confidence back, and that they've they've still won two cups. They still have the guys, you know what I mean. Um, so they're going to be a confident group in the first round. Jesse says the Flyers make it to the conference finals. They were probably rolling and confident like we were last year. And, I mean that's true. That's true. Look, there, there's no easy way, right? There's no easy way because like what you're saying if 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 the capitals were to suddenly win their two rounds coming out of the metro well it doesn't mean they're going to be easy it means they're playing well right so you know i mean you look at you look at leaf fans last year you know yelling we want florida you know it, it's all about which team is going to get hot at, at the right time you know what i mean uh, True says, what did Eki put in his Cheerios yesterday? <laughs> Man, he got, he was he was sick and tired of the refs. I'm actually, in hindsight, happy that the refs did what they did yesterday, because it clearly irritated it clearly irritated Ekblad to the point where he 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 was angry. He was gonna he was gonna score if he had to put the puck in his arm like a football and and just run it in. That was that was beautiful to see, you know. Um, just let's just hope we don't get that guy too many times in the playoffs. That ref, because he's just obnoxious, man. Chicken says, "No way the Flyers beat either the Canes or the Rangers." Uh, yeah. Um, Nick says them that, that that's what they said about us pre-playoffs last year, right? Um. Let's see. Uh, MJ says, "Jaws, I would love to see a Leafs Boston rematch, and then the Leafs." Beat Boston, then we want the Leafs. Uh, yeah, but Sam, we got. But that's what I was saying is we we have to play. We would have to play Tampa in that first round scenario. So you think the Leafs would beat Boston? I don't think. I don't know. I don't know, man. That would be. I'm waiting for a car to pass here, real quick. Um. I highly doubt that the Leafs would be able to overcome the Bruins in the first round because the Bruins are going to be <laughs> they they're, they're still going to be so pissed off about what happened last year that I'm not saying it would be an obliteration but I I think the Bruins would win that so I think I I'd rather I'd rather get Toronto in the first round if all things, you know, mainly cuz of the goaltender too. That's that's the other part too. Like I said with Vasilevsky, he's and the other thing with Vasilevsky, don't forget, um, he's fresh, right? I mean, he didn't come back until when January, right? So this is not your typical Andre Vasilevsky's already played, you know, 
50 games, 55 games when the playoffs start. He's just now hitting his groove. And as long as he doesn't have any ill effects from that surgery, as long, if he continues to get better, Tampa's no joke. And they, when you, when you look at the plate, you know, first place, second place, third place, right? Fourth place, whatever. When you look at the places um, in the Atlantic, I mean, yeah, uh, you know, we got a few more points and everything, but there's not a big difference. <laughs> you know what I mean? The, there's not a huge difference between Boston, Tampa, and and Florida in terms of capability of, of making it all the way. You know, now Toronto still needs to prove that to themselves. I'm, I'm not trying to disparage the Leafs. Um, they did win a round, right? They did win a round, but they have not established themselves, in, in my opinion, as a team that's going to make a deep run. Uh, Chicken says, this is also what worries me about the Canes. Anderson came back from his clotting issue and is tearing it up. I don't think he's lost the game yet. He's 9-0-0 or something like that. Yep. Um, look, Bob's going to have to get hot, right? He, he was good last night. He, he, was, he was much more like himself than he's been in a little while, so that's good. But, you know, if, regardless, if we play the Leafs or, I mean, if we play the Lightning, you know, you're talking every game is going to be 2-1, 3-2. You know, we're not going to get any freebies against Vasilevsky. So I know we did well against them the year before the President's Trophy in the in, in the playoffs. But Lewis, Lewis says, I prefer Tampa to just finally beat them. I think we would get that chance in the second round. Um, I would rather play Tampa in the second round. Let Boston soften them up just a little bit, right? Um, Chad says, same thing. As much as I want to play Toronto, I want Tampa because they need to slay the dragon and exercise Vasilevsky. I mean, look, what I will say to you, <laughs> what I will say to those of you who um, want to beat and, you know, to play and beat Tampa because slay the dragon. I understand. However, as a Dolphin fan, I'm kind of tired of losing to Baltimore, Buffalo, and Kansas City. And if we could somehow make the playoffs and play the Colts or the Chargers or some crap like that just so that we could win a game, I'm all for it. Because at some point, you just get sick and tired of losing to the same teams. You know? And... um if if Tampa is as good as they look, they'll be there in the second round. But I'm not sure that I want to be the team that is attempting to eliminate Tampa in the first round for the second year straight. You see what I'm saying? You know, they had their run. Last year was the year they, they got knocked out early. And they look pretty damn motivated to make sure that doesn't happen again. So... If 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 we're gonna make it to the finals again, I think we're gonna play Tampa anyway. But um, I, I'd like to I'd like to um, not be their first victim. We'll put it that way. Um, I had another. Oh, Lewis says, do you want risking Toronto or Boston and fill our home arena with their fans? Eh, it didn't matter last year. Didn't matter. We played better on the road anyway. You know what I mean? We 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 play better on the road anyway. Um, I think with this team's attitude, that doesn't, you know, that just, that's not going to hurt us. Super Strike says, "Don't look now. The Leafs are sneaking up." Now I think we're good with the Leafs. I mean, we got look. We got to win the games, right? We got to at least get those games to overtime. Um, I don't think they're going to. You know, I know we lost some games. And I don't think we're going to falter that far. But Tampa is is chasing the Leafs. You know, it's it's good though. It's it's good to have this kind of competition, right? Jameson says this road trip could determine if we finish first in the division or at worst slide the third. Eh, I doubt we slide the third, right? Now the only thing I'll say about playing Tampa in the first round, the only benefit there is obviously um it's a lot less travel. It would be a lot less travel in the first round 
than Toronto and that, right? Um, that that could help, but um, if we if we end up playing Tampa in the first round, I think you could almost you know almost write it down that we would be playing Boston in the second round, because I just don't think. I I don't think Boston's going to have a hard time playing the Leafs this year. Super Strike says it makes the regular season a bit more interesting. Leafs have been in third the entire season. Yeah, they have been in third the entire year. I I, I agree with that. It's seen they've been there for quite some time. MG says the West Coast trips are brutal on on the body clocks. Yeah, no no doubt, no doubt. You know, some of these other teams, you know, like if the, the Flyers playing the Rangers, there's like, you know, it's it's like Florida and Tampa. There's hardly any travel, right? John says President's trophies would give us the lowest C, which could be Philly or Washington. But the rain, the Rangers are too far ahead of us now. We're, we're five points behind the Rangers. We're not going to catch the Rangers unless they completely tank. Rinketic, yeah, it's, it's just a few hours from from sunrise to Tampa. What is it? About three hours, guys. There's chicken noodle says like three and a half hours. Yeah, yeah. Do they fly that or do they get on a bus? I assume they fly. To me, it almost seems like it'd be more of a hassle to get on the plane and everything than it would be to just hop on a bus and take a nap. Super says Leafs were losing seven again to Boston. <laughs> right, right. Oh, wait, I just missed something. Did I miss? Did I? Did I miss the super chat? Oh, there it is. Hey, Chris, thank you, brother. Thank you, Chris. Uh, he says Bally's will broadcast the games up to the second round. Yeah, yeah. They. What was that? Oh, it's Kyle. What are you doing, Kyle? What are you doing? Please pause. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, that's fine. A bunny ran out of where? Oh. Oh, so you think maybe they got the bunny house in there? Hold on a second. Hold on, I'm going to turn this around. Oh, let me walk over here. Here, Kyle, come say hi to everybody. We're we're getting some spring cleaning done, and we've got that big fire, big fire pit over there. You know, one of the times I was walking, I saw a bunny come out of there too. Kyle thinks that the bunnies have made their home in that wood pile. Well, I guess we won't be burning that, will we? I mean, that would be a good, I mean, last year they built it in my lawnmower, so I'd rather have them build it there. But when we chop up the rest of this wood, we'll have to, uh, we'll have to put it into another pile because we can't burn that. Because there'd be no reason for the bunny to be in there if that wasn't their home. All right, well, continue on. <laughs> I don't think he wants to come over and say hi. <laughs> I gave him his option. I said, you can either start the spring cleaning or you can do the live stream. And he chose the cleaning. So nobody feel bad for Kyle. Right, Fluffy? Definitely don't feel bad for Fluffy. Definitely not. Okay. Let's see here. Um, oh, God, you guys are talking about getting to the arena. Yeah. Is it the Easter Bunny? <laughs> yeah, Kyle. Uh, Chad wants to know if it's the Easter Bunny. No, he says there's no Easter eggs. So, <laughs> oh well, poor Kyle. Yeah, yeah, I think I think they built their well last year. Last year the bunnies built their home under my lawnmower, and I I uh, moved the lawnmower, and there was baby bunnies under the lawnmower. And um, this year, they built the they the birds built their nest 
in the lawnmower engine. So I was I was getting ready because I got to take pictures and clean it up because I got to sell it. And I lifted up the engine and they had been working for quite some time on building a damn nest. There was no eggs. So I moved it. I, I moved the nest to another spot. I, I, I'll, I'll let them build their nests wherever they want, but <laughs> can't build it in the lawnmower, man. So. Hey, MJ, thank you, brother. He says, I got to do an April Fool's prank tomorrow. Yeah. Um, I'll say this a little bit lower. What, what, I don't know if we're going to do it now because with Ellie passing, the mood is not the same. But um, Karen and I were going to do an April Fool's prank on Kyle. We, we were going to tell him that we decided to adopt a, a child. We, 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 we told him we were going to get him a ba another baby brother and that we were going to adopt a kid. <laughs> And see if he fell for it or not. <laughs> oh, that would I don't know if we're still gonna do maybe maybe we'll do that. We like we're lonely, we're sad because of Ellie, and we've decided we're gonna we're gonna adopt a baby. You'll have a new baby brother, you can help with the diapers and everything. <laughs> he would probably be so scared about that. <laughs> he would probably be so scared that that was true that I, I might be able to get him with that. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'll, <laughs> it's messed up, but hilarious, <laughs> right, right? <laughs> yeah, we'll try. Well, he's he's usually pretty good about picking up the, picking up the April Fool's stuff, you know, can't, I can't do it on Karen, because Karen gets, Karen would get mad if, if I get her. Uh, Davis says, got to tell him we're going to expect you to do most of the work raising him. <laughs> right? Yeah. I'll tell him it's good practice if he ever has his own kid. No, I can't do that to him. I might. I might, though. I might. We'll we'll see. We'll see. He's not usually all that happy when it's spring cleaning day. I've noticed that he's, he's um, he don't like it when things get messy, but when it's time to do the cleaning, he don't like that part either. So. Braga says, I watched Colorado and Nashtown yesterday, two teams that look like true contenders. That's another team to look out for is the Avalanche. You know, these teams that have won cups recently, um, you know, they still got their guys, right? And they're still good teams. We, we are not going to have an easy time of it, you know? Uh, not that we had easy time last year, but I don't think we're going to have to worry about Vegas. We'll put it that way. Nick says, I'm always trying to make a baby. <laughs> no, there has, hasn't been any baby making action since since a few nights before Ellie passed. I lived, I'm downstairs now. I'm downstairs now. He can't, I can't get him up the stairs. So I'm going to, I've contacted a company that does, um, that installs uh, wheelchair ramps. And I'm going to have to get a wheelchair ramp to attach to one of my porches so that he can come upstairs. Otherwise, I have to live. I've been sleeping downstairs with him, you know. So I'm going to we're gonna have to figure that out. Men can make babies forever. Yeah, I'm good with that. <laughs> I'm good, right? True, can we get a conveyor belt that goes upstairs? Maybe. Maybe. It's It's going to be. It's going to be a challenge. Uh, first off, I got to find out how much it's going to cost. One place says they'll rent them, so maybe I'll be able to do that. Braga says, I'm at the point that I don't think the Cats get past the second round. You're thinking the Cup is Rangers versus Edmonton. Now, uh, the Rangers, I understand, but I, I don't think Edmonton has it to, to beat some of these tougher teams in the West. Oh, yeah, right. Super Strike says Vegas is the gold standard. No pun intended for expansion teams. Such a fortunate fan base, right? Right? I mean, they make it to the finals in their first year. But look, when you when you look back, and this was actually um this was actually something that I had considered doing. I might do it over the over the summer. Um I kind of want to do a, you know how they do those trade trees? I want to do a in-depth video of 
of how Vegas built was built. And because it wasn't just all the players that they got from other teams, <laughs> you know, they're, they're given draft picks. They had the ability to, 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 to move a lot of guys because they picked extra guys. And, you know, I know that the intent was to make it so that the team would be competitive right away. But I'm very interested in the difference between what Vegas was able to do versus what Seattle, as an example, has been able to do. I just kind of wanted to to look at it, look at it in depth and see, you know, how many of the players were original players and where they all went. And as I just I kind of feel like based on the results, I think the system was might have been a might have been a tad too easy for them to build a team. Kyle, you're just burning all of that. You're throwing it all away. I see. He's got some old birdhouses and he's, well, you just look so depressed that you're throwing them away. Or are you just depressed because I made you clean? I said one can. I said fill up one can. Yeah, and you leave the other for our regular garbage. I I know you're not going to get it all. That's why I said just put as much as one can would take. Yeah. Okay, yeah, no, you get as much of it as you can. That fills up one can. Okay. Okay. All right. He's better. <laughs> Kyle doing his yearly laundry burn. Hey, Twisted Rister, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, yeah. We've got we've got the back to backs going up. How's your trip going, Nick? Yeah, uh, you can see. Um, I already kicked myself out of the house. How's your trip going, brother? Yeah, I think you've, you've, he's visiting his grandmother, right? MJ had to make birdhouses in shop class. Yeah. What did we make? I don't think we made a birdhouse. We made something else. I think we made like a shoe rack or something like that. Yeah, Nick, you wish you could clean your house <laughs> and make a big pile and light it. Yep. That, 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 that's what we do. We got, we got piles. But then, like you just witnessed, if you leave the pile for too long, um, animals build homes in the piles. Did I get all? I see three super chats. Did I miss? Oh, no, that's right. It was MJ, then Kristen. And okay, I okay, just wanted to make sure. Okay. Um, Nick, you think you're still jet lagged, <laughs> right? Right? Yeah. How, what's the, what is it? Two hours or three? It's three hours, right? Yeah, you're on Pacific, right? So you're still jet lagged. Yeah. Well, if you come to my house, we'll 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 uh, we'll fix you up with that. We'll put Fluffy in your room, and then you just won't sleep at all, and that'll help. That'll make up for everything, right? Uh, thank thank you, Rosado. Thank you for finally saying something nice about those two guys, right? Cooking possum? No, no, we don't. I don't eat the animals around here. I don't need to. Yesterday, in there's a car getting ready to go by. And that field out there, um, there were about 15 to 20 turkeys. We get wild turkeys. And when the weather is right, they'll just come out of those woods and they'll just be putzing around in that field. And we got, they started off, they started off with three turkeys and I named them breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And, uh, I didn't see a lot of turkeys last year, but they've obviously been busy because there was about 15 or 20 of them out there. And which is which is good because I was concerned that somebody hunted them all and, and gotten rid of them. Super Strike says, speaking of the Canes, the Hartford Whalers jersey was great with the invisible H. I didn't see it. Oh, I didn't see it. 
Yeah, MJ, we, we, I named them breakfast, lunch, and dinner, <laughs> right? Yeah, in, in, the, in the populated areas, they don't let you do the bonfires. They don't let you do it. Here, here they just depend on everybody to not be stupid, right? You know, like this tree here that, I, that we sit under is a little close to that pile. See, there's, there's this tree and then there's that pile. And so we built another pile way over there, the one that Kyle's got his, his birdhouses going on. But apparently bunnies have built their house in there. So when my new saw, when my new uh, saw blades come in, I got a bunch of trees that fall and I got to take care of that. And now Kyle's going to love it because we'll have to bring that all the way over into this pile. Rinketic, yeah, it's 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 three acres. We we got three acres. Yeah. So there's about two in the front, two and a half in the front. And there's just there's about a half acre between me and the other house. It's it's a lot of work, man. Nick says, uh fans at PNC Arena were very friendly. The team did not disappoint, although I'm bummed the Red Wings were like to miss the playoffs. Yeah, they they they're scratching and clawing for every point, though, right? There you go. Vegas says people sleeping on the Jets. I know they're struggling with with Velarde back. I think that will help them snap out of their funk. Every year there's going to be those couple of teams that look like crap going into the playoffs and then find a way to get it done. Um, I would be shocked to see Edmonton come out of the West. But if, if there's going to be a Canadian team that does it, Winnipeg might do it. Wouldn't that be crazy if it ended up being Winnipeg versus the Panthers? That, that would be something else, man. I'm not sure if Maurice is interested in that. Would he get cheered or booed? That's the question I want to know. Game one, Panthers, Jets, Stanley Cup final, if it's in Winnipeg, do, do they boo Maurice or or do they, or are they appreciate it? Brog says, I'd love to see the Jets as contenders watch them lose this week, just not enough offensive power. And that's something that with the Canes, you know, the, the Canes might have fixed their issue. It's going to be real interesting to see how hungry are the Panthers going to be. I didn't, I didn't mean to rhyme that. But that to me is going to be the biggest question. Because let's be honest, they don't exactly, with the exception of a couple of minutes here or there, an Ekblad last night, they don't, they don't look real hungry. They look kind of bored and lackadaisical for the most part. First period was terrible. Yesterday. We assume they're going to turn it on for the playoffs. What I hope is, and one concern I have is, let's say we play the Leafs in the first round. Did, did the Panthers players, are they overconfident? Did they, did they do so well last year? that they are just thinking, oh, we could just turn it on. And are, are they going to be so cocky and so confident as to maybe um, try to get out of the first round of the playoffs without busting their ass and saving it for rounds two, three, and hopefully four? Like, are, are they – could they be overconfident to the point that they could think – they could get out of the first round only giving 90% instead of 120%. You see what I'm saying? That one concern I do have, um, you know, Kachuk needs to stop. He needs to stop shaving already. He's, he's a much, much better player uh, with the beard, just like Ekblad. Um, that would be the only big, that would be my biggest concern is, is, okay, are they just going to turn it on game one? Right. I mean, I remember against Boston, I mean, we looked good in game two, but I mean, we, we pretty much almost lost that series. Yeah, it's a good point, MJ. Overconfidence is what got last year's Bruins and the 1819 Lightning bounced out of the playoffs. That's very true, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, MJ, about the officiating. Kyle reminded me um, when. 
when that poll came out, the players poll where they um, gave their thoughts on the teams and the players and the coaches, that guy Mooney was voted the most hated referee from what Kyle told me. So it's not just us. You know what I mean? Yeah, Tampa Tampa didn't show the first two games of last year's playoffs, and, and by game three, it was too late. Yep. Yep. First 420 of the Easter day, <laughs> Nick. Oh, yeah, Mooney, Mooney, is, Mooney is trash. All right, I'm going to get ready to uh, – I'm going to walk – I'm going to walk myself in here so I can – because I, I can't control the stream from here. So, Fluffy, you got something to say? And he – He's all barked out from the river. He he has he has not barked once since we got home. He was a barking maniac at the river. All right, kiddo. I'll be right back. All right. Stay there. I'll be right back. All right. I gotta I gotta go inside to end the stream because I can't control it from my phone. But this worked out. This was this was he was whining and bitching and moaning and groaning at me. He didn't want me to be inside. And I figured, well, the temperature is just right. There's no reason not to just, it's it's Sunday. It's nice and casual. All right, let me see. Come over here. I'm watching myself walk in the door. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, let me see. All right, I'm looking at myself, and I'm also looking at myself on my laptop. <laughs> All right, happy Easter, everybody. Thank you all for joining us. And, um, yeah, we're, we're going to do this two more times. we got Monday, Tuesday. Hopefully Nick is able to, to join us on Tuesday. That'll be fun. And um, I should start having some content out on the other channels, maybe today, but certainly um, over the course of this week. So, all right, everybody. Appreciate all the support. Happy Easter. and. Uh, Two points, two points, finally two points.